Thanks for joining us. I'm Don Nelson. Here are your top headlines. It's almost football season. Single game tickets for the 2019 Boise State football season go on sale Friday. Prices start at $25 for general admission in the north end zone. To $69 for an adult ticket in the main stadium. Season tickets and the popular blue collar pass are also available. The pass includes each of the Broncos home games. They'll play six games on the blue this season, including non-conference matchups against Marshall and Portland State. Tickets go on sale again Friday morning at 9 a.m. After a failed rollout last year, e-scooters are officially back in the city of Meridian. The city recently approved a contract with Bird. The company plans to deploy about 100 scooters on the streets to start. Bird's contract runs through the end of the year, at which point Bird or any other scooter company can apply for a new contract. As we told you, another company, Lime, rolled out scooters in Meridian last year, but the units were pulled after less than a week so the city could work on better regulations. Albertsons and the American Red Cross are teaming up to get supplies to those affected by emergencies, including wildfires. For most of this month, Albertsons shoppers can donate money as they check out to help the Red Cross pay for things like food, medication, and cots for those in distress. Uh, this is the time of year where we start to see the smoke and we'll be starting to set up shelters for any wildfire that happens and so the bulk of the money goes to for those operations. If you can't or don't want to donate money, consider donating blood. The Red Cross says there is currently less than a three-day supply of blood across the country. CUNA is taking steps to make sure the city's green belt is a safe place to be. The mayor and police chief announced today that volunteers will soon be patrolling the green belt in all the areas near Indian Creek, watching for anyone in need of help. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. We've had some isolated storms pop through Ada County. In fact, there's a little leftover rain shower there pushing up into the Boise foothills, but sunshine over downtown Boise as of 5.30 in the evening. Temperatures still hot. Mid-90s heading for a high in the mid to upper 90s, close to 100 in the Western Valley and Mountain Home, Glens Ferry, likely uh, along like Snake River here. Temperatures near 100 degrees, if not above. 88 again in McCall, 85 in Stanley. It just remains hot. There's that little line that's forming here, and there could be a couple more storms going along that line later this this evening, so isolated storms, locally gusty puffs of wind come out of these storms as well. And lightning strike can cause fires. Obviously, we have to keep an eye out on that. There's a uh, bigger storms that have pushed through the Magic Valley and now pushing off to the north and to the east. So dry weather. There are a few more storms down to the south that could come through the Magic Valley. And this big pink area you see, including Stanley, Galena, Sun Valley, Haley, all under a red flag warning through tomorrow night because of lightning strikes starting fires. We may be seeing new fires. There's been a lot of lightning out there today. Let's hope there's enough rain with those to douse any fires that have started. But that's the situation right now, and it's going to go through Friday. If of a valley, extended forecast, whoo, it looks hot through the weekend. Temperatures even nudging up another five degrees or so, up to 101 on Sunday and maybe even Monday, 98 on Saturday. A few clouds could come in Sunday, and low temperatures starting to heat up to near 70, and that heat goes all the way into Tuesday, and then we start to drop back down 94 Thursday beyond. It may drop into the 80s. There's your latest update. More updates coming right here later this evening.